guys, what is going on? It's Asus here today with another Destiny video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something a little bit different, and that is something with Zerg. Now, um, this video is going to be focusing on Zerg gun ingrams. Now, this is something that's not been implemented into Destiny, but with the Taken King coming up, I think we could see it. Now guys, this is a quick speed run of the Nexus in the background. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, or enjoy it. It's a pretty decent gameplay. Um, the end got a little sketchy. It took a bit longer than we wanted, but it's all good. So guys, I'm going to start out. I have a whole list here of things that um, relate to this, and I thought it out very well. So gun engrams. Now this would include primary engrams, special engrams, and heavy engrams. All exotic, guaranteed exotic each time. Now, how often would Zer sell an exotic ingram um, that's a weapon? Uh, well, it would be one a month. Now, the reason it's one a month is so things do not get um, as boring in the Destiny community and you still have a chance to get these weapons. So you don't have to buy them all. It's um, just something like a little bonus for Zer to have at the end or at the beginning of each month. What would the cost of these engrams be? Well, I thought about this a lot. Now, I know armors are 23, but armors could always go up to 25. And a reasonable amount for me, instead of 46, is 50. Now, if a, uh, you know, you gotta think, armor is pretty good, but your weapon, your weapon's what you use. That exotic weapon is something that'll put you over the top, like a Galahorn. If you get heavy engrams and they're only 50 mode of light, it's not bad considering you can trade in your shards and everything else to get these notes of life. So it is pretty reasonable in my opinion. Is this going to be game breaking? No. If they put it in the game, it is going to cause a, a bit of exotic chaos at first. But once everybody's out of mode of light, it's not going to work that way. Um, you know, you can only get so many mode of lights in a month. And at the most, you could probably get, unless you're a real-time grinder, someone who does it for their job, um, the most you're going to get is probably 300 a month, and that's only six guns. And honestly, you probably already have most of them. But if you save up a while, then maybe it could get a little bad. Um, let's say you have a thousand, a thousand motes of light. Um, you know, 20 exotic heavy engrams could kind of be a lot. But then, if you wanted to balance this out more, you could put a limit on your purchase. Now, a lot of players probably wouldn't like this, as we can't do that with our current uh, armor engrams. But it could be implemented for weapon engrams. You could buy a maximum of two per month, and that would actually be very balanced. It'd be 24 a year. Now, guys, is this going to make the game less fun? Possibly. Some players, the only reason they're still out there um, playing Destiny is for Galahorn. Now, the reason I got back into it is because the thought of a new account and getting the exotics all over again and going on the true grind actually wanted, made me want to play. And, um... If, like, if you're out of things to do in Destiny, maybe deleting one of your characters and starting over, or deleting everything, might be the way to go, honestly. But it could make the game less fun, it depends on how you abuse it, and how much you actually love Destiny for Destiny itself. Now, will this include the exotic weapon bounty? Say, a primary will it include Thorn? No. Um, you will still earn your all exotic weapon bounties the same way as usual. These weapons will not be included in these engrams. Um, that would be stupid, like to get super good advice from one of these exotic heavy engrams and um, you know, not earn it because, it, in my opinion, it's one of the rarest exotic bounties to get. So, guys, how will they break it out? Will it be random on what engrams there are? Um, no. There will be um, four of each per year. There's one a month, obviously. No, that's wrong. It'll be three. I was right, sorry. All right, so we have primary. You have, let's say, we're going to go in this order. Primary, special, heavy. That's three months. There's 12 months. And you go in that same order. So in between each one, every heavy engram is going to come up on the in every three months. So you do have a good amount of time to save up your most light if you want to do that. Um, but if you want to go for something else, you're going to have to wait three months for that next one. So you better get it when you can. Now, will it replace the armor engram for the week? And the answer I would say is definitely. 
Um, you don't want to have the armor sitting there, and if you if you like at 48 mode of light, and you see if you get two armor and ramps, it would be a little tempting in my opinion. And I wouldn't want them in, and I think it would just make sense to not include them for the week of the weapon ingram. Now guys, this is pretty much all I have for you guys today. I did think this out very much. Um, I put a lot of thought and effort into it. I have a whole notepad in front of me, just the things that I thought were important to speak about this topic. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. Uh, your support has been so great. I have some of the really awesome, just the best subscribers on my channel right now. They're always commenting, they're always liking, you know, and I start to remember your names and when I see the same people doing it, it just warms my heart because I know I have some real fans and some real supporters and you guys are just really awesome and I appreciate it so much for you guys doing this. Just for me, enjoy my content and um, that's just all I ever wanted. So guys, you know, subscribe to the channel for awesome Destiny content. I'm apologize, uh, I apologize for missing Zerg predictions last week. If you guys haven't seen, hit 200 subs recently. That was awesome. Um, and if you watched that video, that is why there was no Zerg predictions. So guys, head over to GamersOption.com. Use code ACES over there. You can get 10% off on any controller, anything on that site. Grips, PVRs, whatever you're looking for, 10% off with code ACES. There's a coupon code thing in the checkout. Just type my code in, and you'll get 10% off, off your whole order. So guys, now this is the reason I hit 200 subs, or the reason I didn't get deserved predictions. I said this in my 200 subs video, um, and you saw in the intro, no scope glasses. If you guys check out the link in the description, you click that link, and you go over... Like just use that link and you buy something off no scope glasses. It um you know it gives me five percent of your purchase and it, it will really I really appreciate it. It will help me grow as a community, help me get a better mic, and you're just using it to support me and um and support your health your eyes for a healthy purpose. Um, I'm planning on doing a review. They're very healthy glasses and really good for you. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You know it means the be the world to me. You guys have been around for so long. And it truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. As always, guys, I'm out.